Well, welcome to our organic mirror modeling tutorial. As the name suggests, we're going to actually be um, modeling something which is an organic shape and setting up mirror. So we'll jump straight in. The best way to learn these things is to do them very often. Hit the spacebar, add a mesh, add our cube, our default cube to the scene. Hit tab to take it out of edit mode. Middle mouse button, and rotate. Put the viewport onto solid draw mode. Tab again into edit, as you see there. Shift S to bring up the snap menu, and we want to have the cursor to go to the selection. Now the cursor has actually now got itself placed exactly where we selected that face, which is um, on the x-axis. Now, if you come down to this bottom window, click on this editing button here, and you'll see there's an option there, center cursor. What that does, it puts the center of the object exactly where the cursor is located. Because we located the cursor exactly on that um, face on the right there, now the center, instead of being at the center of the object, is actually over on that uh, X face, on that right hand side. Now if we add a modifier, the modifier from the modifier stack there, we're going to add a mirror modifier, and we're also going to add a subsurf modifier. Change the levels to two, and now if you take a look, it looks a bit like a, well, like a large peanut. It's got a bit of a dip in the middle, which we will sort out in a moment. Now if you hit tab again and go into edit, you can see how the modifying cage, as it's called, affects the object. This button here, do clipping, basically that affects how the mirror works. We'll see more in a, in a short while. What I'll do now is with that face selected, if we then do d delete, hit the delete key on the keyboard and choose delete the face, we've got rid of that little dimple in the middle because we haven't got a face there so we've now got a true mirrored object as you will see. Come down to the, uh, ob the buttons here and set, put, put it on set smooth so that our ob object is completely smooth. Now choose the front face there and do E to extrude. Remember we can hit undo at any time to undo these steps, which we will be doing. And you can see that it's, um, it's mirroring extremely well, although it's not obvious yet what, exactly what it's doing. You'll see that we've got, you only see the mesh on one half and the other half is doing exactly the same thing. So it's a true mirror. Um, if we take off the clipping, we're going to actually investigate the difference between, between the clipping and on, having the clipping off. Now if we do extrude, you'll notice already it looks slightly different. We've got a dip there in the middle already. Click on the hand icon to bring on the widgets. And look, if you grab with the transform widget, or translate widget, to move, um, you'll see more. It's, it's handy for if you're doing uh, things like legs or arms, if you're extruding from the side. Um, but you don't always want it that way. If we do U to undo, you'll see the differences. And just experiment with this yourself. And you can put clipping on and off any time during the modeling. Now we're putting the clipping back on so that vertex points won't go through the middle where it's mirrored. Now if we do exactly the same thing, if we go into tab into the edit mode, and now look, if we grab that, it's not separated into two different parts like it did before. So this is a very useful feature which we'll be making use of later on when we actually start to actually model the um, caterpillar. We're going to just use very simple organic modeling. It can get far more complex than this, but the whole point of this is to get you up and running and learning Blender as quickly as possible and having a, a char character built that will actually um, work for you.